Hello students. In today's video, we will try to understand what is allergy to drugs, type and mechanism of allergy. Allergy is also termed as hypersensitivity. Now, this video is 13th in the series of videos on general pharmacology. Now, as we all know, immune system protects the body against harmful substances called as antigens. So, all noxious or harmful substances or antigens activate the immune system of the body. Now, activation of the immune system of body activates T cells and B cells. Now, T cell activation produces cytokines, that is mediators of inflammation, while B cell activation produces antibodies. Now, functions of cytokines, antibodies is to destroy the antigen, is to destroy the harm harmful substance and to protect the body. Now, this occurs during normal activation of the immune system of the body. This is the normal response, uh, this is the normal immune response of the body. Now, allergy also termed as hypersensitivity is not a normal response. Allergy or hypersensitivity is an inappropriate or unnecessary or exaggerated that is exceedingly high immunological response to a drug. Here the body feels drug is a harmful substance, drug is an antigen. So immune system of the body gets activated by the drug and produces mild symptoms like skin rashes to life threatening conditions like anaphylaxis. Now let's see to some of the characteristic features of allergy or hypersensitivity reactions to a drug. Now allergic reactions are relatively uncommon and occur only in small percentage of population consuming the drug. Allergic reactions are highly unpredictable. So these cannot be predicted from the pharmacology of drug. Now these reactions generally occur even with very small doses and thus these reactions are not dependent on the dose of drug. Now allergic reactions can range from mild reaction to life threatening consequences. For example, uh, allergy can range from mild to moderate symptoms like rashes, itching, fever, wheezing, hypotension to life-threatening reaction like anaphylaxis. Now very important, previous exposure to the drug or prior sensitization to the drug is essential for the occurrence of allergic reaction. Now let's talk about the mechanism and types of allergic reactions. Now as discussed, allergy is immunologically mediated reaction that is inappropriate immune response to a drug. Now it occurs either due to the activation of humoral immunity or due to the activation of cell mediated immunity. Now in humoral immunity, immunoglobulin E or immunoglobulin M antibodies are produced. Now it is of three types, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Now cell mediated immunity occurs due to the activation of T lymphocytes which produces chemical mediators called as cytokines and these cytokines they produce allergy. Now type 4 allergy is cell mediated. Now let's summarize types and mechanisms of hypersensitivity or allergic reactions. Now as discussed allergic reactions are of four types type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Now type 1, type 2 and type 3 are due to the activation of humoral immunity that is due to the activation of B cells. Here there is production of antibodies and these antibodies cause allergic reactions while type 4 uh, allergy is due to the activation of T cells. It is due to the production of cytokines. Now let's discuss type 1, 2, 3 and 4 allergic reactions one by one. Now as discussed, type 1 allergic reactions are also called as anaphylactic reaction. Now these are termed as anaphylactic reactions as they can produce anaphylaxis. Now this anaphylaxis is a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction and it can occur within minutes of exposure to the drug. 
Now, type 1 allergic reactions are immediate onset reactions that usually occurs within minutes to hour of exposure to the drug. Now, humoral uh, immunity is activated that means there is production of antibodies. Now, in type 1 allergic reactions, immunoglobulin E antibodies are produced. Now, antigen, antigen is a soluble antigen. Now, uh, the mechanism of uh, type 1 allergic reactions. Now, antigen, uh, that is a drug, it binds to uh, immunoglobulin E antibodies and there is a formation of complex between antigen and antibody. Now, this complex activates mast cells and basophils. Now, activation of mast cells and basophils causes release of mediators of inflammation, that is histamine and prostaglandins. Now, histamine and prostaglandin produce allergy. Now, histamine causes bronchoconstriction. Uh, bronchoconstriction causes difficulty in breathing. And this difficulty in breathing is characterized by wheezing. Then histamine can um, produce hives, that is skin rashes. Uh, further, it can cause laryngeal edema. Then angioedema, that is the swelling of blood vessels. And both prostaglandins and histamine produce fall in the blood pressure. Uh, so these are the mild to moderate symptoms of uh, type 1 allergic reaction. While anaphylaxis is a life-threatening reaction. Now penicillin, penicillin is a drug. Now, patients who can, who are allergic to penicillin, they can suffer from anaphylaxis. So, penicillin can cause anaphylaxis in, in those individuals who are allergic to penicillin. Now, type 2 allergic reactions are also called as cytotoxic reactions because these allergic reactions are toxic to the cell. There is breakdown of the cells or there is rupture uh, of the cells. Now, these reactions are delayed onset uh, reactions. That is, symptoms usually occur between 2 to 24 hours of exposure to the drug. Now, immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin M antibodies are produced. Antigen always remain bound to the surface of the cell. That is, antigen is present on the cell bound to the surface of the cell. Now, the mechanism immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin M antibodies bind to the antigen on the surface of the cell. Now, this causes activation of the uh, complement. So, there is complement activation and complement activation is followed by the rupture or the breakdown of cells. Now, manifestations of uh, type 2 allergic reactions are rupture of uh, red blood cells leading to hemolysis or hemolytic anemia, then uh, a rupture of platelets leading to thrombocytopenia, another manifestation is neutropenia and drugs like cunidine can cause hemolytic anemia and thrombocytopenia. Now type 3 allergic reactions are also termed an as immune complex mediated reactions. Now here antigen antibody complex is produced. So this complex between the antigen and antibody causes production of inflammation and allergy. Very important here the antigen is a drug. Now these are delayed onset reactions and the symptoms usually occur within one to three weeks of exposure to the drug. Now, humoral immunity is uh, uh, activated. So, immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M antibodies are produced. Antigen is a soluble antigen. Now, the antigen and antibody complex is produced. So, that means a complex is produced between the drug and the antibodies. Now, this antigen antibody complex, it gets deposited in the blood vessels and the tissues and this further causes complement activation. Now, complement activation results in inflammation and allergic reactions. Now, manifestations of type 3 allergic reactions include serum sickness, then Steven Johnson syndrome. Now, infliximab, a type of monoclonal antibody, an immunosuppressant drug is used in the treatment of autoimmune disease and it can cause serum sickness in hypersensitive individuals.
Now, serum sickness is an allergic reaction. It is type 3 allergic reaction and it is characterized by fever, joint pain, lymph adenopathy, that is enlargement of the lymph nodes. Type 4 allergic reactions are caused due to the activation of uh, T lymphocytes. So, these reactions are also called as T cell mediated hypersensitivity reactions. Onset of uh, allergy is delayed and usually occurs within 2 to 7 days of exposure to the drug. Now, here T cells are activated. Antigen is either soluble or it remains bound to the uh, cell. It remains bound to the surface of cell. Now, the drug or the antigen activates the T cell. Activation of T cells causes release of inflammatory or allergy mediators which are called as cytokines. So, there is release of cytokines and these cytokines produce tissue injury. Now, manifestations include contact dermatitis that is red itchy rashes on the skin. Another manifestation is the photosensitization. Then multiple sclerosis. It is an allergic uh, reaction. It is an allergic disease of brain and the spinal cord. Now an example is of neomycin. Neomycin is an, uh, is an antibiotic cream and it can cause uh, contact dermatitis in individuals allergic to it. So this is in brief on types and mechanism of drug allergy. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.